we've been looking at the positional skill of going behind our opponent. We're strongly emphasizing this skill, one which has to be as well developed as your submissions. You can't just threaten in one direction. It can't just be all threat, the submission threat. It can't just be all positional threat. Only when you mix the two will you maximize your effectiveness with either one. Now, let's have a look at another highly effective method going behind an opponent, a hand block go behind. If you're on this side and we're working from a right-handed front headlock situation. As always, we get our first initial three points of control when we're working here. We're gonna take our hand and post it with this V-grip on our training partner's tricep. I'm gonna move my head up a little and we're gonna come up off our knees and I'm gonna take my hand and put my whole forearm behind. Don't put the back of the hand in, put the whole forearm in here like so. My second arm goes over my training partner's spine, right down the middle. And as a result, we're in a position to walk around behind our training partner. And when we get behind, we can put in a tight waist, post on our training partner's knee, and now we're in a perfect position to go into the various forms of back attack that we saw when we went over the back attack system. So, once again, we're working here from a classic front headlock situation. I post on my training partner's tricep. I bring my hand all the way so that my forearm is behind him and my arm goes here, down his spine. Do not make this common mistake of reaching too early around your training partner's waist. Now he can trap my wrist and from here roll me through and end up pinning me in this position here. Okay, you often see people making this basic error. Once again, I don't want in these situations having posted and coming around the corner to reach too quickly through the waist. He just traps the wrist and pins me. That's why we keep our arm down the spine. The moment I come in here, it's an easy trap, roll and pin. So we must be disciplined with our hand position. Once again, front headlock, post, angle, forearm, good arm position. I walk short choppy steps around behind my opponent until I'm in behind. Once we get behind our opponent, we're in good position now to take that tight waist and from here so many ways for us to go on the attack and start utilizing that back system that we enjoy so much. This represents a very fast, very simple and highly effective way to go behind our opponent in the blink of an eye in any front headlock situation.